Hello, I'm Jesse Berger, founder and artistic director of Red Bull Theater, and I'm really excited to be here with Lauren Robertson, who is an assistant professor at the Department of English at Columbia University, and Emma Rosa Wendt, who is a wonderful director and also happens to be our Drama League Classical Directing Fellow at Red Bull Theater this season and the director of our upcoming reading of John Lilly's Galatea. I'm so thrilled to be talking to the two of you about the play just for a few quick minutes. I'm going to talk faster because we're experimenting with a new program, which I'm going to name right now. We're going to call it the Lobby Chat. So just imagine... <laughs> you're in the lobby and your friend just asked you, Lauren, in two minutes or less, what are two key things about the play that would be helpful for any audience member to know before seeing the play be formed? Sure. So I would say the first thing to keep in mind is that the essential characteristic of Galatea really is metamorphosis. The world of this play is defined and governed by transformation. Um, now, at the beginning of the play, that sort of promise of change is dangerous. This world of Lincolnshire, England that Lily has created is threatened by this flood that promises to kind of turn the world completely upside down, right? As the play goes on, though, the concept of metamorphosis itself undergoes a kind of change and becomes something that is exciting, it's scientifically wondrous, most important of all, it's erotically desirable. So be on the lookout for that, where the play is sort of thinking about and working on metamorphosis. The way, one way that you can do that, this brings me to thing number two, is to pay attention to John Lilly's verbal style. So what he loves to do in Galatea is bring together oppositions, things like love and hate, hot and cold, wet and dry, right? And he brings them together by using lots of parallel structure. So oppositions are described often right next to each other and in exactly the same way. And the effect of that is, I think, a kind of thrilling instability. There's this sort of sense that any concept, any idea in this play always has the potential of sort of tumbling over into exactly its opposite, right? So really, I think we can see metamorphosis working at almost every level of Galatea in the fictional world that Lily has created, in the plot of the play itself, and in the very language that Lily uses to describe those things. There's my two minutes. <laughs> I love those two minutes. That's terrific. I really want to hear you talk more about that, but not today. Emma, I want to hear you talk for a couple of minutes now, because, <laughs> because this whole, the whole reason for this is we want to give our audiences a chance to really hear a little bit more about the play and, and increase their, uh, their enjoyment of the play that they're about to hear on our Zoom reading. So Emma, in two minutes or less, what are your two key things? You've been working on this play and you talked to me about this play over a year ago and you've been working on it at least since then, right? So I'm really excited to hear what are the two key things that you would tell your friend in the lobby about okay. Galatea? Um, well, ooh, so many things. I mean, I think one for nothing is that the piece is just 90 minutes. So all of this glorious transformation that Lauren is talking about is compressed into an incredibly robust, compact, riotous little container. But thing one, I think for me is that I think it helps to think of queerness in the play, not as a fixed identity, the way that we might do in our contemporary time period or as a label to put on, but more as the Elizabethans might have done as an experience, as just one kind of experience that moves through the body. So rather than a thing that needs to be defined or fixed, I think it moves through the play as a force of change, like Lauren is talking about, that is a physical experience rather than a fixed state. And I think thing two for me, big thing two, which I've especially learned through the process of working on the play with the company in the last week is that even in the virtual format, one of the most important characters in the piece is the audience. And there's so much direct address and so many asides in this play that I think one of the key relationships the main characters have is with you. So if you, when they look out and speak to the audience, imagine that they are talking right to you because they need you because they are and they do. <laughs> That's fantastic, Emma. Thank you so much. All right. Well, I am going to take that note to heart as I watch the reading. And I want to thank Emma Rosa Wendt and Lauren Robertson for sharing some insights about the play Galatea before our reading of Galatea online. And if you'd like to hear more about uh, more from Lauren and Emma about the play, you can join us on the Thursday following the reading for a free bull session online with members of the acting company, and they'll take their questions too. So thank you again to Emma and Lauren. And that concludes our pre-show lobby chat for Galatea. Enjoy the show.